we had a great relationship, really. Uh, like every marriage, it has uh, you go through difficult periods. Uh, you have your children. The greatest thing that ever happened to us. Uh, but our relationship was good. So having come across this diagnosis then, we had to reassess our lives. And uh, one of the first things that comes to mind is your children. What effect is it going to have on them? How do you tell them? Uh, will they have HD or will they uh, escape that? So that was a real concern because at our age, we were about 50, 55, coming 60. And uh, we'd had our lives. We had a good life, a great life together. Uh, but you think of it, your children and the, anything that impacts on their lives and puts them in danger, you're obviously concerned. Heather, uh, what? I really respect her. I admire her greatly for the way that she is dealing with this. I know whenever it hit Carol and I, Carol's attitude was different. She was submissive to it. Heather, on the other hand, is outward looking. She's happy most of the time. Uh, she brings joy to everyone that she meets. But I've got to use one word here, unconditional love. That was Carol and Heather has that as well. They don't ask for anything in return. Um, they just give. And if anything, that was the greatest privilege in my life to be with Carol, to support her and to see her through that HD journey. And while we give what we thought was quite a bit at the time, but we got 10 times that in return from Carol in the sheer love, uh, unconditional love. Would we do it again? Undoubtedly. We wouldn't shy away from it. We wouldn't reject it. Uh, and Heather is doing exactly the right things.